Hello everybody, I am back and ready to get the reveal on. Before we go over to that though, I'd like to say thank you to all those who have followed, who have subscribed. If you are interested in supporting the stream, you can always hit that subscribe button, leave a tip, or simply just share news of bad video games with everybody on the internet. I mean everybody, like you can even ping uh, like Steven, Steven Fry. Sure, he'd love bad games. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let, let's go ahead. Oh my gosh, Mr. Zimbu. Thank you so much for subscribing. Let's get a reveal at Square Bear. You're the best. Okay, before anybody else gets me distracted, let's go ahead and reveal who our GM is. <gasps> NPC lives. Silver Moon, you're awesome. NPC, though, I want you to come over. Oh my gosh, you are all so awesome. But you know, non-player characters are also amazing. Hello there. Hey there, bro. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Oh, I am doing... I I just bought a new VR system and I have had so much motion sickness. It is insane. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, we, we've got a VR system here. I really need to play a little bit more. Uh, but I'm... Are you enjoying it? Oh, immensely. I, uh, I just, it's just with all the, you know, walking around in motion, doing all that stuff. It's just like, I don't know why, but it just kind of churns your stomach a little bit. But okay. I don't know. Well, I don't know. <laughs> do you think that the game that the players will have today will churn their stomachs quite as much? little bit but i think they should enjoy it i oh. should enjoy it oh Maybe. yeah I can't, I can't confirm the fun of this game because i got this in kuso 2 uh yeah you speed run this don't you i speed run the easy version of this uh well i speed what? run oh wait a sec um we well we should we should say what the game is so that people can understand oh yeah yeah, yeah. what we're talking about so today's game is King of King, the early years. For play on Nintendo. Oh yeah. Yeah, you, you love all those officially licensed video games out there on uh, Nintendo land. <laughs> yeah, and this the reason that I even, you know, have played even some of the Flight of Egypt and want to speed run it is because um, Linkums who speed run the wise men and uh, Joseph and Mary oh, yeah. refuses refuses to touch Flight of Egypt. Absolutely refuses to touch it. Like, I find it less interesting than the other ones, but I, I think that it could still be a lot of fun. It's very, it's basically a ton of memorization. Yeah. Is what I can say is how hard the speedrun is, but... Oh no, my name's Linkums, and I don't want to put effort into my speed run. Da da da. I, uh, I will say this: I would rather speed run Fly to Egypt as opposed to the Wise Men, but that's just a personal opinion. <laughs> uh, well, we are doing it in a specific order: Flight of Egypt, followed by the Wise Men, followed by Jesus and the Temple. Uh, yeah, Jesus and the Temple, I'm sorry. Yeah, by the way, who is doing audio for us? That'd be the Cove. Oh, I already got it on him. Perfect. That makes life easy. Okay, I still need to get all of the layout ready, so uh, talk to me. How many points do the players have? What's at stake for this match? Well, right now, all these players have 10 points. So, basically, it's just to see who's who's got going to get, like, 10, 7, 5, and 2, because everybody will get past the uh, second round. But oh, yeah. It's just going to be on. It's just going to be how much harder are they going to work past this in order to keep in Cusa Grande. Very true. I'm actually pretty surprised that we got a group of four people uh, who scored 10 points previously who do not know this game. Uh, that's, that's what I was curious about. I was figuring, surely I'm going to have to go through this a nuke of some point, but no, they didn't play King of Kings, so... See, this is why I like getting new blood. 
uh, especially with players, because, you know, you never know if they're going to have played certain games or not, and sometimes you can bring back the classics like this one. Oh, and, definitely a classic. In ways, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think I actually uh, have... Yeah, I have the Wisdom Tree collection. I uh, so I definitely own King of Kings. And yeah, I did. I, I, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, they put together a, a recent release actually on uh, NES. And even though you know uh, the company definitely didn't have the best games out there, still I love to be able to support them because they're still managing to keep things getting updated for. Uh, newer systems like PC and uh, getting things, you know, making them accessible for people. And I love that. I absolutely support that. Anyways, a little bit of my philosophy about why it's good to go and support Wisdom Tree. Even if their games are notorious for being bad, if you have fun with them, it still is worth it. Oh, yeah. I mean... I played uh, Flight to Egypt um, when I did the when I uh, practiced doing easy. I would come home and do just like a like thirty minute stream of me just doing Flight to Egypt over and over again because the speed run is just like on easy mode is under three minutes. Oh, that's super fast. That is super fast if you know how to do it. Like, yeah, yeah. Baby but Moses like is a little bit faster, but like not by much. Actually, let me. I might be talk. I might be talking. You know, bogus stuff. Let me check that. Let me go debunk myself real quick. Hmm. I. I am. I. Yeah, my brain is not in the best of. Oh yeah, it's um. <laughs> it's to show how tight this is. It's the first place is two minutes twenty four seconds and ten milliseconds. Are you serious? Yes, and it, the second place is 2 minutes, 24 seconds, and 600 milliseconds. That and is I'm, amazing. And I'm third place with 700 milliseconds. It's that close. I love it. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely amazing, NPC. Uh, yeah, and I really, really want to get back to working on that. I want to get back to actually working on the actual full-on normal difficulty yeah, I know that you've been a little bit busy these days, but it's good to have you over here. So what's been going on in your life, playing games, good games, without telling us? I've been um, participating in um, a friend Time Stalker's Mystery t uh, Tournament stuff, and it's just fun to just play random games and oh, hypothetically, yeah. get, hypothetically get some... Uh, new information on games that we should include here on Cusa Grande. Twins, I've, I've gotten a couple. I've actually seen you doing that quite a bit. I want to remind people, by the way, Licensathon is actually something legit happening. Uh, submissions open until the end of May. Tempestrol is helping with that. Uh, honestly, a lot of people who you see around these parts tend to do other things with each other as well, not just Cusa Grande. It's great to see communities being built, though. It makes me happy, NPC. Very much so. Oh my gosh, this music, it's good. Hallelujah! <laughs> it's a great music that I've heard way too much. Oh yeah. The King of Kings. Yeah, I, I had uh, tried to find them a proper manual, and the only one I could find was, you know, heavily pixelated <laughs> okay i mean i so, like pixels i mean it's still readable it just takes a little bit of staring and figuring out tiny bit of effort <laughs> yeah tiny bit of effort okay oh i should actually make sure i'm looking at the chat <laughs> maybe you should <laughs> I'm just checking right now to see if the players are ready. Everybody, I need you to bring out all of your, uh, all of all, all of the emotes that you have that are vaguely denominational at all. <laughs> and if you have a camel, that's also a free. And a camel, a camel's gonna. We're gonna have a camel for a long time. 
<laughs> okay, I'm doing the countdown. Spam your emotes. There we go. Uh, yeah, that, these are great. Oh, Santa Claus, he's kind of <laughs> kind of religious. Oh, we do have some camels out there. Heck yeah, camels. Oh, Binding of Isaac, that is religious. Uh, abs, <laughs> those are religious. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Go shout it on the mountain. The Jesus <laughs> Christ is born. Yeah, this is. We're going to be hearing this for quite a bit of time. Honestly, I think flight to Egypt is one of the easiest ones out of the three options that we have. So we're starting where we're, we're going to see somebody beat this one for sure. Yeah, I told them that after they do this, we're going to be going to um, um, the wise men. So uh, the thing about all of these is that each of these three games have 12 levels. And so this one is we're basically getting um, Jesus to uh, Egypt. Well, okay, look, she hasn't even had the baby yet, okay? She's what, pregnant. What's in her hand? She's... What is in her hands? Her belly. She's holding a... No, that is a baby. There is a baby there. I disagree, okay? I disagree. Chat, oh, wait, wait, you wait. See the baby? No, never mind. What am I talking about? You're completely right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but he was definitely a child at that time. Yes. He wasn't doing any preaching just yet. I got really confused. Okay. So, yeah, right now we're going through the um, mountain trails. So they're, uh, they're trying to avoid debris. They're trying to avoid rams and a whole bunch of falling boulders mm -hmm. and you can get comboed if you're not careful enough yeah i've learned that the hard way and sometimes the kicks what the kick wants to work and sometimes it doesn't oh you know what you chose this for sunday NPC, yeah. thank you uh, we, we all need a little <laughs> donkey action in our lives on sunday uh, phrasing. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, Joseph was commanded by angels to never leave Egypt. Uh, that's false. Eventually, he had to leave. Right? Yeah, he had to leave. Yeah. But, but yeah, I, I, I don't want to be responsible for knowing anything about scriptures, despite me being a pastor's kid and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, I was a missionary back in the day. I still remember a good amount, but, you know, it's been a little while. And, and let's just say that, you know, uh, there's there's certain books that uh, we missionaries focused on a little bit more than the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, getting comboed by that. Time <laughs> Wonder is getting comboed by the lion. The lion is a, um, you know, pain in the butt. Because it will chase you until you, unless you kick it enough. And I also noticed Time Wonder was trying to um, jump onto a higher platform, which you can do in later levels. I don't think you can do it in this just yet, yeah. but I'm sure in one of the uh, later upcoming levels, you can kind of clip and speed up the level. Oh my gosh. All of this is just. Like, I, I love this. How is... So, here's the deal. The people who made this game actually, as far as I remember, were atheists. Uh, and they just realized <laughs> that there were Christians who wanted video games. And so they're like, we can make crappy video games. Yeah, and it's easier to sell uh, under a religious pretense. Uh, <laughs> and so they started making these games. Uh, and they they sold well because people were like, we finally have religious video games, and the atheists are like, <laughs> don't tell them. <laughs> but aren't these games um, unlicensed? And didn't Nintendo actually try to? Wasn't it Nintendo that said um, when before Wisdom Tree that um, when they had like Menace Beach and a couple of their other games that they were selling, and Nintendo was like, you can't do that, and I... so they. Uh, switched it to like wisdom tree to have christian games 
so I'll that just... Nintendo would, you know, not really be able to sue them. Oh for... yeah, it's really hard to sue somebody when they're uh, bringing religion into the mix, and you could say that it's because uh, they're anti-religious, freedom of religion. Uh, that could possibly be part of it. There was another company that also sued Nintendo for not... Okay, so I can't remember the name of the company, but uh, they essentially were like, Hey, Nintendo, we can make carts for you. And Nintendo's like, why? And they're like, we want to make money. Nintendo said no. So this other company created a chip in order to bypass the Nintendo security. And then they sued Nintendo specifically saying you're not a, you're trying to get us to stop putting games out but we should be able to make games for nintendo and eventually it was settled out uh i don't know what the result was it was classified wasn't that tengen because they were Could doing a bunch of because they were doing like gauntlet tetris and a couple of other things oh i think it was american video entertainment mind you oh. all of them were kind of in cahoots with each other oh well, yeah because it was like Nintendo wanted to have that quality um, equality seal on their games. Yeah, and I sort of understand, you know, but why not just let them make a game and uh, make it very clear that it's unofficial? Like, oh, that would be fine. Oh no, the bunny! Yeah. Watch out, Time Wanderer, the bunny's after uh, you. The duck! The, yeah, the bunny and the duck. We're now in the green meadows, and now... Uh, bunnies and ducks are um, the true evil here. Yeah, because they can they can bounce you um, into the um, ground like right there. That log just basically threw them down into the kill plane. Yeah. Oh, by the way, there there is a book that's about uh, wisdom tree and color dreams, and I'm actually quoted in it. Uh, it's, oh, really? Yeah, it's a really fun book, everybody. Uh, if you get the chance to read the Boss Fights book about, I, I believe it's called Bible Adventures, absolutely worth it. Because you speed ran, did you speed ran all Bible Adventures or just Baby Moses? Baby Moses and David and Goliath. Uh, I didn't want to do Noah's Ark, but I kind of wanted to do it, but then I didn't. I don't know. Oh, Noah's Ark is a pain to speed run. I well, wouldn't touch that one. It's a giant pain. Oh, Time Wanderer! <laughs> Unfortunately, getting getting goat boosted. Uh, by Or bunny boosted, I suppose. By the way, there there is a specific thing that you can do in some of these levels that will let you scroll all the way to the right of the screen without dying, but you can't finish the level, unfortunately. But it's a yeah, beautiful but, glitch. Yeah, basically what you have to do, and I know how to do this just because... Got a um, kick. Yeah, you gotta kick. You basically, yeah, you just have to just keep kicking, kicking, kicking while holding like some kind of direction. And, uh, Time Wonder is going to learn about which. <laughs> wow. Well, that was yeah, pretty this good. Is, yeah, this is a very, this is gonna be a wall right here. They can get by quickly, uh, but we'll see how fast it takes them. And <laughs> the bunny got him. Oh. Uh... This is going to make me smile, this area right here. Because I, I was just running through this level, and yeah, it's it's just trying to, trying to, oh, almost. Uh -huh. Because um, with some of the jumps upcoming, you have to stay on the top area, and if you get hit by anything and boost to a different level, you have to go back. And, um... Like what just happened right there. He's going to go right and realize, nope, you have to go to the top plane. Yeah. There's no way, to, no way to damage boost up there. I'm not too surprised. I mean, at this point, when, when Time Wanderer finds out... <laughs> the pro yeah. I would have done that, too. I love it. Yeah. I would, yeah, just die and accept your loss. It's like everybody has a good idea of just going to the very top and just dealing with it. Oh, right now. Go tell it on the mountain. How oh, the hell's it? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, someone just realized, nope, I have to actually go the long way around. Well, that's not fun. I want to go all the way around. Well, I didn't give this game to be fun. I wanted to see him beat Flight of Egypt. But I want to I want to get to the end now. No. Nope. <laughs> yeah, you, ha you have to have your you have to have your Flight of Egypt before you get to your wise men. Oh jeez, the oh my gosh, the wise men. Oh. Yeah, if anything is not more playable than this, it's definitely the wise men. There's so much good stuff in this game, okay? I I love it. Oh no, Time yeah. Wanderer, you need to learn your Bible. <laughs> it's fine. So, that I forget. I forget who was upset. It's like, do I need to know the Bible? And it's like, if you want extra help. Wait, did somebody say that? Yeah, but the thing is, I really what I didn't say was it doesn't really matter because you're not going to be in a position to really need all that help. Oh yeah, there we go, Time Wanderer. Watch out, the bunny. The bunny wants you. Bunny likes blood. Now we got no! 15. No! Oh, no! Oh, no! That was right near the end, I think. Yeah, oh, that is someone level. just got knocked down by the log. <laughs> oh, the physics in this game make me so happy. They're not good. Yeah, let's see if someone can uh, get to the end of this level. It's almost there. Yeah, almost there. Just don't get hit by the fish. Oh. Yeah, I feel like someone is moving on to the lead. By the way, when I say someone, I mean someone 3255 on the bottom right of the screen. By the way, all of the streamers here today have Twitch channels at the names that you see on the screen. So feel free to go and give them love if you would like. Yeah, someone just needs... It's almost there. He's almost there. Get, no, don't get hit. Oh. Yeah, there we go. The, Barely. Yeah, because there's all that stuff that can cause damage. And, and they did the smart thing by just falling into the level and starting out with full health. Which you can get in Flight of Egypt. I didn't tell them that you won't get that in uh, The Wise Men. So... I'm sure they'll be disappointed when they continue in the wise men and realize, wait a sec, why didn't I help not refill? Look at that bat! It's just flying to the right. It just... Wow. It has places to go. Apparently to the right is where it's going. I love the ducks, although the ducks get very difficult every once in a while. Like... Like well, you said, they're the main enemy in this game. Well, the one thing about the ducks and the bunnies is that even though they don't do damage, they still act like rubber and will bump you off into the pits. And that's what makes them dangerous. Oh, yeah. Because I have had a duck body me and lose many of my runs just because it decided it did not want to be nice. And also in the later levels, um, health management is going to be important. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. I'm, I'm just trying to find a little more information about this uh, group. I don't I don't know. We've talked so much about Color Dreams and Bible Adventures before. I still love that Color Dreams had a different label for games that they thought didn't meet their quality specifically no. bunch games bunch games uh, yeah. yeah like but the thing is color dreams barely had quality to begin with so like judging some of the games to be worse than the other ones you know, feels feels a little someone rude someone just got bodied by random debris T time wanderer very... is on to uh, the cold part of egypt it looks like oh yeah this is the um this is uh, what is it specifically called um the ice cliffs. The cliffs of ice. This is like Lord of the Rings level. Yeah, five favorite Bible verse, the ice level. Chat, you're you're too good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, don't you remember there being a bunch of like ice cliffs that they had to go through? Like, I 
don't know. I think it was one entire verse in, in uh, like, uh, Matthew or something like that. We're like, and they went to Egypt. Yeah, Egypt. And that's all it says. <gasps> yeah, Mr. Polar Bear is not nice. Yep. Yep. The rare Egyptian polar bear, exactly. Actually... They had, to, they had to fight polar bears back then. You know, I, I... I remember there is... A, my favorite version of the Bible, by the way, is definitely the Pigeon Bible. If you don't know the language pigeon it's a it's it's a hawaiian language and most of the time if you speak english you will understand pigeon and it is amazing okay uh like what what's so fascinating about uh, well, pigeon let me go ahead and read it from john we're starting uh, the first verse of john which a lot of people will re remember that it goes uh in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Let me read it in pigeon. Okay. <laughs> the time everything had start, had one guy, God's talk, that's who him. That guy and God, they stay together, and the guy stay God for real kind. That's the guy, <laughs> the time everything had start, him and God stay together. Uh, God when make everything, but... The way he do him, he tell this guy Fodo him. Uh, no mo notting this guy never make. He the guy, if you like come alive for real, for real kind, you come by him, cause that kind life come from him. When people, when people come alive like that, you like they stay inside one place that get plenty of light. Then they can see and understand. I actually really love this language, though. Uh, it's it's different enough that it's considered a different language, but it still is like surprisingly understandable. And uh, I'd almost say that, like, especially if you have a hard time understanding some of the Bible because it's too dense, this does a pretty good job of putting it in a way that. It's a little bit easier to understand. Yeah, I'm I, I'm a huge, like, I love Pigeon. It's amazing. It's the best language. At um, first, I was waiting for you to say. No, no, that's different. That's birds. They're not birds. They speak Pigeon. Oh my gosh, the the first book of Genesis, though. Uh, Everybody here has heard it, but in Pigeon, it's pretty amazing as well. The time when everything had start, God when make the sky and the world. The world comes so no mo nothing inside, no mo shape nothing. On top the wild ocean to cover everything, never had like nothing. Only had God's spirit there, moving around over the water. Day number one. Then did God say, I like light for shine, and the light stop for shine. God see how good the light. Then he put the light on one side, and the dark on the other side. The light time, he give um the name daytime. The dark time, he give um the name nighttime. So, had the nighttime and the daytime as day number one. As day number one. As day number one. Day number two. Did God say, I like get something inside the middle. For no, let the water up there and the water underneath come together. And that's what God went do. God makes something for no, let the water up there and the water underneath come together. The thing inside the middle, God give um, um the name the sky. Had the night time and the date time as day number two. There you, there you go. Day number three. <clears throat> then God say, I like the water under the sky come together one place. So that get dry land. And that's what God went to. The dry ground. 
God give um the name land, and the water that when come together one side, he give um the name sea. God look the gra dry ground and the sea, and he tell real, real good all that. <laughs> I love that. Real, real good all that. Good, but the yeah. thing, like, they even stylized uh, the, the language uh, and the way that this is written to really fit uh, the the way that they would talk so that you know it's understandable for them right. i love it i absolutely love it that's definitely that's definitely some interesting um um words <laughs> well it, you know it's a different language yeah right? i know being being separated uh from people enough to uh create their own uh, dialect and their own vocabulary and uh, a lot of the times it sounds like super informal to us but no that's just the language it's so cool yeah we're we're here with bibles and languages that we're talking about because the pigeon bible is uh, objectively the best version of the bible i wonder if i should put up a clip that i accident one of the things is that you can go so fast um in this game that you can actually um make the screen go bananas because it cannot keep up with you anymore oh yeah i forgot I this game is broken <laughs> yes it is and i got it so broke that it started putting out letters instead of actual tiles and yeah. I had no idea what the heck that was about. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this phrase. Then, then God say, now I like make people. I like them be <laughs> like me. Do you like one copy? They go and be in charge of everything. The fishes inside the ocean, the birds inside the sky, the animals, all the land, and all the small kind animals that go around on top of the ground. So God make the people same, same, you like one copy of him. False start, he make one guy and one wahin. Then God tell him, or tell him, I give you guys the power so you can do everything I went make you for dough. So get plenty babies and fill up the world <laughs> with them and take over. You guys in charge of the fishes inside the ocean and the birds inside the sky and all the animals that move around on top of the ground. <laughs> I love that. So get plenty babies. That get is the message babies, there in your first book of Genesis. Or uh, as the, the, the book is called in Pigeon, The Start. Oh my gosh, yeah, the, even the names of the books are amazing. You've got The Start, Out of Egypt, The Prezes, The Rules Second Time, Rut, One Kings, Two Kings, Ezra, Nehemiah, Ezra, okay, those get boring, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh, there's Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Jesus, guys, for the Rome people, number one for the Corinth people, number two for the Corinth people, for the Galatia people, for the Ephesians people, for the Philippi people, for the Colossi people. Yeah. Oh, what's Revelations? Is named Jesus Show. That's right. Revelations is Jesus Show. Jesus Show? Yep. First chapter is called Aloha. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I just love this. It's so good. Uh, yeah, Aloha, this book tell what Jesus Christ when show me John. Jesus, he the ship show guy God when send. And God when show him the stuff that nobody ever know before time. That stuff gotta happen pretty soon. God like Jesus make um clear to the people that work for him. So Jesus when send one angel messenger guy for make um clear to me, John. Cause I wanna his worker guys. Me, I stay telling what I when see and hear. The things God when say, and the stuff Jesus Christ when tell. 
Oh. Yeah, I feel, I, like I, need, I feel like I need a Bible lesson in Pigeon. I really, like, love everything about it. It's so amazing. Uh, and I would say, hopefully I'm not, like, uh, upsetting anybody or offending anybody for reading some of this. It it's just is so fascinating to me. Since when did it snow in Egypt? Oh, it, it actually snowed in Egypt, what? This year? Last year? Something like that. Oh! Oh my gosh, someone! someone. What? <laughs> what is happening? You did it! Someone did it! <laughs> well. <laughs> How do you get out of this? How do you die? You have to go back. You have to just tr travel back left until the game decides it'll work again. Oh, okay. Trust me. It's either that or you die. One of those work. <laughs> oh, what a video game. Yeah, that's the issue with trying to... That's not an issue. It's a blessing. It's a yes, blessing. Yes, people say it's a miracle. I swear you have to just go back. I mean, I I think so. Apparently this is a frame perfect trick. Good job. No, it's not a frame perfect trick. It what should if... just <laughs> Every trick is pre frame perfect. Because when you get on the frame that does it, does the thing. I seriously have nothing to say. <laughs> There you go. There we go. That's a death. There you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the video game. Yeah, I'm I am curious if Time Wonder is going to do the same thing. They're right there. Oh, where's the Oh my gosh, I need to find the four horsemen of the apocalypse, uh, because I want to, to I don't want to see the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse right now. Just what chapter is that in? Revelation 6. Okay, it's we're going to go, yeah. we're going to go to Revelation 6, and I, I need to share what it says about the Four Horsemen. Uh, mind you, like, feel free to interrupt me whenever you see something that is exciting. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, I'm just watching Time Wonder, because... They are going to eventually get the glitch unless they beat the level first, which yep. I doubt that. You think so? This is this is the gatekeeper level, it really is. If you know how to do it, then it's easy, but I don't know if they're going to think about glitching enemies off the screen, which is what you have to do in order to beat this level. Wait, are you serious? If, I, if, I, if I'm thinking if this is the final level of the game, then yes, that's what you have to do. I feel like I beat it without doing that, but... I'm not sure. It's been a while. You can. You can. You really can. It's just, it's much easier to glitch them off. Oh no, Time Wanderer, the bear ate you. Okay, so here, here's chapter six from Revelations, or Jesus Show, as it says. Uh, the title is, The Baby Sheep Guy Broke Open the Number One Seal. Then, do you like one dream? I went see the baby sheep guy broke open the number one seal from the seven seals on top of the paper. Then I went here, one of the four things that stay alive, talk with one loud voice that sound you like thunder. He tell, start now already. <laughs> <laughs> start then, now already. Then, hey, I went look and see uh, one white horse. Had one guy on top uh, mm, with one bow for shoot arrow he went get one crown and he went go out to like one army guy for fight and win against the guys that hate him oh that's that is definitely an interesting bible i really feel like i should read that instead yeah of you like should that, 
I should read, you know, the King James or the NIV. I should read Pigeon Version. I honestly think that, especially if you read a whole lot of them, uh, the Bible multiple times, it definitely is a way to take a look at what was written in a very different way. Yeah, if, if y'all are uncomfortable with that, like, I'm... I'm more fascinated by things than anything, but yeah, we, we can go ahead and move on to something else. Sorry. We'll go tell it on the mountain. Nah, don't worry about it. It's my fault. <laughs> uh, I was just about to ask John 316, but anyway, I just keep waiting for Time Wonder to hopefully glitch it, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, yeah. But this is, this is definitely a gatekeeper level. It is not easy. Do, 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 do. But it seems like some of the enemies kind of despawn, so... Oh well. <laughs> That's helpful. Yeah, I, I almost thought about giving them Sunday Fun Day instead, because that's a fun game. Sunday fun day. Oh. oh my gosh. Yeah, I was thinking about that the other day as well. I think it was on my backup list one time. Okay, Time Wanderer okay, got polar Time Wanderer is almost there. Time Wanderer is almost there. Time okay. Wanderer just has to go a little bit further and then they'll be in flight of Egypt. Yes! Time Wanderer yep, there it is. be through. That's the first game down. Congratulations, you have won. Uh, you need to give your heart to Jesus Christ. Refer to the end of our manual. What? So it wasn't the end. It's a lie. Gotta go. I, I can't find the manual anywhere. <laughs> Say at the end of the manual. <laughs> I need to see if there seriously is. Oh, there is! There is! Uh, I, I want to keep watching and, you know, because it's fascinating. Let me see if I can uh, translate Pixel. Um, have you entered into a relationship with the living Savior? Oh, then again, nah, I'm single, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I'm not reading any more of this, but... Yeah, fair I, enough. I, I'm, a, I'm allowed to because I'm Christian, so... Am I allowed to? I was Christian. I mean, the thing is that God can take a joke. Surely he can. I am I believe. So, just so everybody knows, by the way, uh, if you are wondering what's happening, we're half an hour through. Uh, the goal is to go in the scenario orders, starting with Flight of Egypt, moving on to this next one, the Three Wise Men. I don't think we're going to see them beat this, but if they do, they'll move on no. to the third stage. So Time Wanderer is definitely in the lead being on this. Yeah. Yeah. I remember me and Rain spent like way too much time for our own good on this. So oh, the thing, I can only... The things that yeah. fall and stun you are terrible. Yeah. This, this game pulls every punch it could possibly pull. It is not fun, and I remember just, you know, being so frustrated and being so upset. Yeah. And right now, right now, Time Wonder is understanding why the jumping in this game the, stinks so much. Yeah, it's it's really difficult to describe until you actually play it. Like, you have to play this in order to understand why Time Wander did four jumps in place and then went into a pit. Yeah, because um, the Flight of Egypt is actually playable, where the jumping in this is just, um, like, everything just feels incredibly ice physics-y. And as much as I love my ice physics, not this much. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say what I thought. <laughs> Actually, it's more like slippery. Well, slippery. I was about to say slippery, but that is ice physics. So I'm just being an idiot for it now. Um, <laughs> reversing what I was going to say. 
But yeah, this is definitely a game. Jesus was born in the town of... Well, it was Bethlehem. Yeah. You know, th this is sort of what bothers me about Bible games, okay? Uh, let me tell you, because there are some wonderful uh, philosophies, there are wonderful lessons uh, in the New Testament, you know, even though I'm not Christian, there are wonderful messages about love and uh, uh, beautiful parts. And Bible video games, all it does is it's like, let's go ahead and name dates and towns and who the crap cares, okay? That's absolutely not like the the point of it all yeah rote memorization is dumb yeah time wonder is now learning why i saved this for a second i wanted them to have a little fun before the pain really hit whatever this is the fun stage to me <laughs> i disagree because i hated this so much this game holds no love for you at all. I hold love for it. I, I love this game, uh, mostly ironically, but I kind of like that they put all of this. Well, because the levels actually really change besides Flight of Egypt, which is mostly the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, except more difficult. Like uh, what you see here on Time Wanderer's screen, for example, is that, uh, you know, we're getting the first level of the three kings uh but it will change a lot yeah i could speed run like... veggie tales by hmm. i don't want to <laughs> yeah i don't not not to you know talk bad about a veggie tales game it just doesn't you know seem that interesting to me but that's well, just me like Okay, here's the deal. VeggieTales was way too popular in Utah. Uh, oh, and, really? Yeah, and I've seen way too much. Like, then again, I see, like, full-grown adults watching VeggieTales here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, unironically as well. And it just, I don't know. It, it rubs me the wrong way because it just feels so infantile. Uh, yeah, it's good, but, you know... Oh no, there are people who like Veggie Tales. I'm gonna upset so many people today, NPC. <laughs> I am. I. You know, who else can I offend? <laughs> Let's find out. I don't think. I, I don't think Mormons were involved with making Veggie Tales. It's just. Hey, guess what? It's mildly popular, and it. Uh, is. Like teaching basic good lessons so there you go veggie tales like i do like the song about uh how the squash sat on his hat that was pretty good i have not listened to veggie tales for the longest time and the hairbrush song is pretty good the hairbrush song oh where is my hairbrush oh where is my hairbrush oh jeez oh yeah, where, where, where 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 is my hairbrush. Justin's telling me to be quiet. <laughs> well, tell, tell him he's, if you're going to make him do that, he has to play Conan. You got to find my hairbrush. That's what he's got to <laughs> do. The pirates who don't do anything. I, I know a little bit of that. Uh, but yeah, that was probably the best song. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, they might be giants did a parody of that. Or was it Aquabats? I think they might be giants. Did a well, version what did they do a parody of? Or uh, they do a the the pirates who don't do anything. Hmm. That sounds more aquabatish than they might be giants, but I don't know. Oh, I love, I, I love I love aquabats, by the way. But I, I was just saying that if there was, if I had to choose between They Might Be Giants or Aquabats doing it, I don't know if either of them did it. Never mind, it was that... Reliant K. Oh. Which, I'm not sure what else Reliant K did, but that's kind of funny. Yeah, I feel sorry for both uh, 
someone and the coke because they've both have been on the final level for the longest time mm -hmm. and poor and poor um shrambles has been struggling trying to jump over the polar bear uh, well the polar bear he just wants to eat you well if, the issue is, is that shrambles keeps going further left and the the it's gonna respawn. respawn yeah yeah so don't try to use brute force against the polar bear you won't win but yeah time wonder is definitely just making their way i also or at least it. attempting to pass level two i also love occasionally seeing one of these scriptures pop up and being like mm, okay so this is going with that definition of like a certain element of uh, uh of the bible it's like mm, like I i'm thinking questions of the godhead is it one person is it three people are they all in one uh you know is it human body or you know human immortal looking like body or is is god inside all of us uh and yeah you you can definitely tell that whoever chose the questions was probably going one specific way but i could also imagine it just being you know people at wisdom tree being like hey we're all atheists let's just mess with them and have multiple <laughs> multiple possibilities in these questions oh no oh no oh no cove just cove had in between two polar bears and yeah it time wonder knew about jumping up and glitching them out but yeah i don't know if he's gonna if cove is gonna try and um battle two polar bears at once because i don't see anything good coming from that yeah you never get between two polar bears <laughs> oh no and time wonder had the issue in that um when that thing, when that block hits the ground, oh my gosh, stunned. Time Wander! Oh, oh, death! <laughs> that was beautiful. I just got a message about something. Hold on. Like, okay, here's my thought. I don't really dig Bible games, but I imagine there could actually be some really good ones. What if you got to play as bald guy? Uh, specifically the one who, uh, uh, children call him Baldhead, Baldhead, and then he sends a she-bear to murder the kids. Yeah, it's a good Bible story, okay? And if there were more games based off of things like that, then everybody would eat it up, okay? Everybody would be playing Bible games. Sorry, I just got a message i'm trying to figure out what happened um hold on uh, keep talking i've got to investigate something oh wait a sec hold on <laughs> wait saturn dude that was your brother's torah portion for his bar mitzvah that is amazing yeah do what you need npc oh, that would be great i no, i know exactly what happened that was yeah so what what happened was um Someone got to the end of the stage, but instead of just running down the hill, they jumped over the flag and into the pit. Oh, no. Instead of just running, run, still running down the hill. Hey, hey, someone is so, through, but needs to refer to the end of their manual. <laughs> the so, code that's what happened. And yeah. sh shrambles, like, honestly, I believe they're both on the final level. They just need to make a good push. Well, thing, the thing was, I did see, I just saw a little bit of a jump. And so anything that isn't just, you know, casually running down the, or going down the hill is going to kill you. Yeah. yeah. But at least someone is starting and hopefully going to enjoy the moving of uh, the wise men. I, uh, yeah, it's like, it feels like you're really riding a camel three? because it's uncontrollable. Well, look at someone. He, one of the cactuses turned to fire. Well, you don't I like don't... that to happen. You know, the desert's really hot. Yeah, it very much is. 
I mean, I've, I lived in a desert most of my childhood. Well, it's both hot and cold. It's hot. It's really hot when it's hot, and it's really cold when it's cold, and there's nothing in between. Stupid desert. Well, I remember going to Austin, Texas one time, and it was, like, burning up, and then two hours later, it was freezing cold, and I'm like, what the kind of weather is this? It's desert. That's absolutely how a lot of deserts, especially in the American West, work. Yeah, now we're going to see uh, someone uh, play the level that gave Time Wanderers so much trouble. And one of the things about, um, we didn't go over, um, uh, the wise men is that they're randomly picking up fruit and all the fruits have different abilities. Like the apple that, oh, yeah. um, Time Wanderer has is just a straight projectile. There's a grape that is a spread shot. There is, um, a banana that's a boomerang. Oh, by the way, everybody oh. here likes door mazes, right? Oh, we're, yeah, we're totally coming up to that section. Because, of course, in a place where you are traveling to one place in the world, why wouldn't you have doors going everywhere? Just go right. Just go right, Tom Wander. Don't go left. Too bad. That was, the end, that was the end of the level, and you decided to go left. Well, you're asking a lot of people. They, Time Wander doesn't know that. Time Wander knows, hey, there's a star in the sky. I, I forgot to follow it, so yeah, we're going this way now. And that was basically the door he had entered before doing the other door maze area. Oh my gosh, Cove, I want to hear We Three Kings for about 10 minutes, <laughs> so please get there. <laughs> Someone three, two, five. I've just got smushified by that rock. Fun times. Gonna get back to this. Yeah, this this area is just off. Oh, so much slip and sliding. A little bit, yeah. So Time Wander is now in the part of the game that will take you forever and there's just nothing you can do about it because this door maze is something special now if i uh, if i not misremembering isn't there a button combination to use the fruit it's select i believe select okay it's it's not it's something that isn't spit so i i thought that it might be up and spit it could be up and spit i'm not sure i i really am just I just really, you know, thought it was select for some odd reason. I should just check the manual and be smart about it. But I'm not a smart person, so. Ah, no. Oh, I love that the mice can jump and follow you. It's so good. But yeah, they're evil. You oh, just they're so bad. Get... It's like you just make your way up to the top, and then all of a sudden, um, they just knock you down to the bottom. Um, this level is evil for two reasons one is because it's i think the longest level in or one of it's either the longest or like the second longest level in this game and the second thing it has a door maze and door mazes are bad enough but there's <gasps> the a cove door is through Woohoo! go cove but there is a door you have to enter through twice in here and oh. so they need to figure out about that door. So, yeah. The best thing about the best thing that they can do in this level is just die. You know, one of one of and the get all their health back. One of the things that I love most about door mazes, by the way, is that sometimes when you go in a door and then you go back through it, you don't go back to where you started. Because doors are more like portals than anything else. And that is going to be one of the main tricks to the level that Time Wanderer is on right now. And it's it's dumb. Yes, it is. But I'm... It's just... This is a huge door maze. And basically... I just... I'm just keeping an eye just to see how much... How far they get. 
Yes. Because the first part, the first part of this door maze is just going into um, like the final door um, in this route, which should be that door right there. Yeah, that door. And then the door maze begins. No, go back. Go into the door. Go into the door. There. You go. And so now they have to just find the next door and yeah, just jump over that mouse. Oh, look at the coyote. Oh, it just murdered someone. So Yeah, that just, coyote made me sad. So everybody knows nothing is at stake completely for this game, specifically because the players have 10 points. You need 12 to progress, and the lowest you can get during this match is two. So everybody will be moving on to round three, but... You know, it would just be good to not have to worry about your performance as much for later matches. Now, Time Wanderer is definitely in the first place. Someone is in second. The Cove on in third, but also on the same level as someone. The Cove could yeah. possibly move up to second uh, in yeah, the right, next right, minute or two. Yeah, right now, someone has reached the Coyote. So they are definitely ahead right now. But, yeah, any good push can definitely, you know, make uh, the places change. Yep. Yeah, it's really... The only suggestion I could ever have in trying to play this is to not run. Because run will just kill you and just make you move all over the place when you just want to go forward carefully. You know, I, I was thinking a little bit about, like, the purpose of making religious video games NPC, and I think a lot of people essentially say, hey, you know, uh, I don't want violence, I want peace, uh, and, you know, something that is going to be more uplifting. And then you get Bible adventures where you can literally take baby Moses and throw him in the river, okay? <laughs> literally well, I... no other Nintendo game is as violent as that. I mean, didn't you have to throw him into the river eventually? No, it's against the rules. You don't, well, you put him in a basket in the river. You oh. don't just throw the baby alone. You don't know. But that is one of the more interesting glitches that, in that game. Or it's not a glitch. You, like, legitimately, well, Baby Moses drowns uh, many times in your playthroughs. And. Uh, I'm not sure how many games have dead babies in them, but hey, I guess a Bible game is a good place to start. Then again, based off of how many babies died in the story of Moses as well as the story of Jesus, uh, I guess it's not far off from the truth. Well, Baby Boomer went to hell. <laughs> so that's one example. That's not even a religious game, though. <laughs> I'm just giving you an example. You said that there was, if there was a game where, you know, babies died, and that's one example. <sighs> but the baby's not dead. It took an elevator. You know, taking <laughs> an elevator to hell is different from dying and ending up in hell. <sighs> well, another death first. Well, no, it's not a death. Technically, if you don't hit things and die, then you don't actually die. You just go back to the beginning and maintain the amount of health that you had. Which are the scrolls up at the top left? Uh, why scrolls? Why not? I don't know. I yeah, guess. that's the, that's the difference in Flight of Egypt. Uh, your scrolls reset each time you died, while in um, the Wise Men, your health does not regen. Shrambles, so you're you going fast. Shrambles, I'm worried. So if you fall off a pit, if you fall off a pit, then you keep the same amount of health. But if you die by losing all of your health and you regen it, then. So you might have to keep that strategy in mind when you're trying to play this game. But I doubt you're going to be playing this game in the future. No, I want to play this game. Like, I, I've played all of them. I've gotten through all of them. I actually would love to speedrun some of them. Uh, the, the Three Kings would be enjoyable. Uh, the one that Shrambles isn't playing, that would be enjoyable. <laughs> like to Egypt, I, I could probably pass. I'm not as interested in Flight to Egypt. I don't know. Egypt's a good place. 
just gonna take a plane there. That's my flight to Egypt. Freaking Delta. Delta? <laughs> yeah. Gonna buy a Delta ticket to Egypt instead of riding a donkey. <laughs> Boulder came back to bog time one. Oh, I forgot how amazing all the sound effects are in this game. So good. Someone at 3255 is getting a little bit better at the platforming. Honestly, it is so easy to over control. I, or, yeah, to. What am I thinking? <laughs> over adjust to compensate a little bit too much. I love the coyote. One, it's cute. Two, why is it in Egypt? Or on the path to Egypt? Were there a lot of wild dogs out there? I don't know. You'd have to tell me because I don't know. Well, I've never been oh. there. But right now, um, right now, someone has gotten past, um, the one level, so they're now in level three. They're almost about to get into Time Wanderers level, and then the maze will begin, and then we're gonna have to probably keep track of how far they get inside the maze. Okay, so apparently there were a lot of uh, a lot of jackals in Egypt. So that's accurate. There are also a lot of uh, retractable cactuses. <laughs> Cactuses? Cactuses. Cacti. I know. I know. So, the door that they just went through, they have to go through again, I believe. I'm just double-checking to make sure I got my map maze correct. This game is something special. I really wonder what's holding Shrambles up so much. Like... Everybody has problems with different parts, and sometimes even if yeah. you're doing super well with certain things, you know, somebody else is going to be struggling through there. So, yeah, Shrambles is definitely having the, the struggle to finish the first game in this. I don't think Shrambles can pass anybody else up. Uh, someone is definitely in second. Time Wanderer in first. The Cove in third. Honestly... We probably have all of our places, but things could technically change. Honestly, it doesn't take very long to get through these levels. Yeah, but the one thing that um, someone would need to do is to go back into the door um, that needs to be going... <laughs> needs to go into the door twice that someone has entered through. Or that Time Wanderer has traveled through. Oh, yeah. Because Time Wanderer has gone to that part of the maze, but they haven't doubled into the door. So they're probably thinking about what the heck they were supposed to do. By the way, uh, people watching may see Cove die uh, during some of these places with the bricks. The thing is, it messes up your physics not only while you're standing on the ground, but uh, somehow affects it in the air, and I can't remember, but they caused me to die many, many times. Cove is probably going to die here. We've seen multiple deaths. Yep. Yep. See? That wasn't hard. Oh, go. Okay. Oh, come in. Go in that door. Go in that one door. Okay. Now the uh, now the worst part of this level is coming up. I like that trapped boulder. And look, only half a scroll of health left. Yeah, this is going to be lucky if they can do this. Okay. Don't go in that door. Too oh, bad. No, they go. That's right. That's right. Ah, oh, the porcupines. Oh, but yeah. That, that was the bad reason for going in that door is because they wouldn't have known about the porcupines. Had if they fallen down the pit, they would have just gone right and just seen the porcupines. There are so up. many trolls in this game, and I don't believe you can really kill the porcupines unless you have fruit. Well, that's what the thing is. That at the bottom, there's a banana you can collect. I banana. Okay. And you basically use the banana to kill all the porcupines. So unless you're a god gamer that can just jump on each of the porcupine ledges and just, um, you know, get through it, it's really stinking hard. Oh, speaking yeah. Speaking from personal experience. Speaking from personal experience. Yeah, I, I've gotten past that, but it was a lot of work. 
the thing is, like, this game pretty much has all of the criminal aspects that come with bad platforming. Uh, at the same time, it still is compelling to me. Every level is different. Every level has interesting traps that are just terribly terrible. Also impressive. Like, I fully recommend giving this a shot just so that you can see what it's like. And apparently I accidentally had a shramble screen going down over the very top of the coves. Crap, and I didn't notice the whole match. <laughs> NPC. I'm not a well, slacker. I'm, I'm watching multi-twitch. I'm not watching your stream because then everything would be, you know, further off. Well, you know what's further off? Uh, no longer? That would specifically be time, because we hit the hour mark, we are done. That is it for the game. Oh, I can breathe again. Whew. So, as it turns out, Time Wander managed to take the victory. Someone, 3255 in second, the Cove in third, and Shrambles in fourth. Let me go ahead and invite our dear Time Wanderer to come chat. How do you think they did throughout this match, NPC? Oh, they they did incredibly well. I They got through uh, Egypt faster than I was expecting. Um, I did see that the Wiseman was, you know, very difficult, so. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, for sure. Hello, Time Wanderer. Hello there. Congratulations on your victory. Hi, thanks. Yeah. Way uh, to go. And you appear shocked that you won this match. Um, a bit, yeah. Um, Why? <laughs> well, I died like 35 times. So I was like, oh man. Like, I felt like I was running into the same obstacles 700 times. Also, uh, door maze. <laughs> uh, yeah, the door maze was kind of... A pile of butts but you know i i would say that in general if you're struggling with someone it probably means somebody or with something probably means somebody else is having a similar struggle that's almost always the case uh not a hundred percent but a lot of the time yeah I, I can't wait to go back and see everyone else's struggles as well so describe the physics of especially the second part of the game, the the kings. <laughs> Can... I'm I'm glad you brought that up. Like, okay, so you know how you know how like the last <laughs> the last stages in the first game were all like ice levels. Yes, yeah. so, like ice themed. Uh, they control the same. Oh um, no. <laughs> they control the same as like they the ice level controlled the same as the non ice levels. So it was just it was just aesthetics, but then. The wise men game controlled like that stage looks. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Wise men stages are just truly evil. That's why I gave you the fun game before you had to go to the harder game to control. You really did. Cause that first game was like, eh, it's okay. Um, I oh, realized yeah. about 45 minutes in that I had gone the entire game without using the attack button. <laughs> Because that's a button that exists, but it's it became the hold this down to go fast button. Yes. Well, I will, I'll say this. Um, you cannot kill the uh, polar bears with the attack button, and doing so would have been a waste of your time. Yeah. I... But there's oh, no boy. way to know that. You've got to try. you got to so... try. I've tried, so I understand the pain. It's generally easy enough to jump over most of the obstacles in... Um, in the first game because you because you can get going so fast apparently too fast for some people uh yeah, yeah. you have to go <laughs> I, watch that clip if you didn't i will i will watch that clip as soon as we're done here because i i i saw him i saw him post like whoops i went too fast and <laughs> i and i saw like there's a point where like for some reason there are some things that hit you that just make you go at super speed yes and yes. for, for and like, and I don't know if that's a bug or a feature, but like, a little bit of both. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of both. We'll just we'll just take it. <laughs> one of the, one I, of the things is that you can actually, if you hit the d reverse direction and the kick button, if you do it at a certain time, you can just go super fast throughout the entire game. Oh. You don't have to you don't have to be hit in order to do it, but it also means you have to deal with an incredibly fast control that you know you have no control other than to just go forward and get hit. 
Yeah, you you have like a tenth of a second to react to anything scrolling in off the right side of the screen. And the screen scroll can't actually keep up with you. So I, I, I had a couple of moments where like, I'm getting dangerously close to the right side of the screen. I should stop before I just fall out of the map or something. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I, don't know that, I don't know if that's what happened, but it seems like it's something like that. Cause I noticed about, uh, I noticed in the first game, uh, you might've noticed me like start jumping all the time. Yes. Uh, you could just, yeah, I realized pretty quickly, especially in that last stage, which is super long. Uh, you can kind of just jump and enemies will just fall through the floor. Because yeah, they don't know it's there. That's what you have to do in order to beat that area. It's just really stupid. Apparently, it's... legitimately, that's what you have to do. <laughs> I mean, but... I, I think it's, I think it's designed to be impossible otherwise. I got because it's so long and there's not that many healing items, and so, the healing items are uh, not guaranteed. Before no. we go, I do want to ask you: Is this a game that you could see playing again? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you and I have and different I tastes that, then. <laughs> I, I say that as like, so like RoboCop 4, I actually did play and uh, and I finished that after uh, after round one. Okay. I did that like on Tuesday because I was like, okay, this is not bad. And I kind of got the hang of it towards the end. Okay. Um, This one, I, like I was leaning yes and then door maze. And once they hit me with door maze, I'm like, okay, what else does it have in store? I don't want to find out. I'm okay. I, 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 I have my, I have my success. I'm my relatively progress. sure that's the only door maze in the game. Relatively sure. Not a yeah, it's, it, it is. It is. That's the last real door maze. And you got through is... it. So you're past the worst part. Well, no, no, he's not past. No, the worst shut part. up. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> Don't listen, NPC. <laughs> run away! Run away! <laughs> All right, we're we're gonna go ahead. Conflicting hit. opinions here. We're, we're gonna take off. Is there anything that's happening over at your stream these days since the last time we talked to you? Uh, I am this week. I am starting a uh, a text hack of Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door called Book of Mario: Ooh. Thousands of Doors, and it oh, is. Oh no, it's a door uh, it, is, it is. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> it is it is Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door fed through Google Translate like fifteen times and Ooh. then spit back out into English. So oh, it's well, complete right. nonsense. Oh, that sounds like a blast. Well, it is. I played the first one, the N sixty four one, and it was a lot of fun. So yeah, I'm go forward to that. Go check out Time Wanderer, everybody. Honestly, go follow the people who stream today. They are fantastic, and their streams are the same as what you saw on the layout. I also want to give a huge shout out to those who have subscribed and followed. You're helping keep this alive. And, you know, if you do want to support just following, subscribing, dropping some bits, or even just posting about it on Twitter and being like, yo, bad games rock. Uh, that is plenty of help. Thank you so much, Time Wanderer NPC. Thank you so much. We're going to raid Sinister, and I think we need a raid message for him. Did we have a good message from this last one? Um, I don't know. I don't know if there's any good... It's kind of hard to do a, you know, a raid message with a Christian game. Refer to the last page of the manual. We'll go ahead and tell him that. Refer yeah. to... He's playing. He's playing Punch Out right now, going for a PB. Uh, and this is sinister. He's flipping fantastic. So go mm -hmm. tell him to read the manual. <laughs> 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 All right, everybody. Thank you and take care. I will see you later this week, probably Tuesday. Bye.